Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download additional fonts that might not be provided on your Windows device, specifically for Microsoft Office products like Microsoft Word. So I'm sure you've all been there before and we maybe see a font online and we really like it and unfortunately Microsoft Office is not included natively in their application. But do not fear, there is a very easy way to hopefully find most of the fonts you were looking for, as well as exploring different fonts that might not be included in the application to begin with. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. doesn't matter which web browser you select, it's perfectly up to you. In Google, we're going to type in Dove font, D-A-F-O-N-T, and then hit enter. So I'm going to go on the website here, and you can actually search for different fonts as well. You don't actually have to go along with what I'm going to be doing in this video. And if you actually go to other websites as well, you don't have to use this one. The same principle should apply. This just happens to be a very well-known one. So I'm just going to select a font that I take a liking to. Let's say this one appears it was recently added. Kind of looks like a cool font here. So I'm going to left click on it. And then I'm going to select download on the right side. And you notice some of them are free for personal use. I do believe they charge for some of them. I would recommend using a free one if you could. So now we see that we have a zip file for the font. We're going to just open it up. So just left click like you would any other program. I'm going to minimize it out of our web browser. Typically, you're going to get a little bit of information regarding the file when you open this up. If you see a text document, if you open this up, it'll probably give you a little bit more information about the licensing rights you have. So, as you can see, some of them are for personal use only, and it would require a license for commercial use. And it'll give you a link as to where to buy it from. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we see that we should have a file type that says true type font file. This is our money file right here. This is going to be what we are trying to access here today. So just minimize out of this window. So again, minimize. Do not close out of it. Now just open up another File Explorer window. You either could right click on the File Explorer icon and then select File Explorer from there. If you do not have a File Explorer icon, you could go through the search menu and find another File Explorer from there and open it up. I'm just going to select it from the taskbar since it's so convenient. So again, right click on it and then File Explorer. What this will do is open up a new File Explorer window. This is important because we have to navigate to the folder in which all of the fonts are being contained. And pretty simple from here, we're going to select this PC on the left side. And then underneath Local Disk, you want to double click on it. And then there should be a folder that says Windows. Double click on that. And then look for the one that says fonts, and it should kind of stick out because there should be a letter A also on the folder icon. So double click on that. And just be patient, it's going to load some different fonts here. And you can see, depending on what your view is, you can actually see a preview of what the font would look like. And remember that other File Explorer window we had open. Um, now we're going to go back down to our system taskbar and we're going to go open it up so they should be side by side so at this point you can actually rename whatever the font is on here you don't have to keep it this I'd recommend changing it to be perfectly honest because it's not going to look right when you're going through selecting fonts and I'd actually recommend changing this font name to whatever you are looking to call it especially if you don't want it to look kind of weird in this folder so all you have to do is just drag it in should paste it inside of this folder and then I'd recommend going into Microsoft Word seeing if it's there and you guys should be good to go and then you can close out all these windows so I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video goodbye